Today is a great day, and I have the honor and privilege of meeting with Carl Bass. The robots are smart machines that are starting to do some really incredible things. From the multi-billion dollar company, Autodesk. Hey, you must hey. be Carl, very nice Carl. to meet you. You must be Titan. I've heard some really great things about what you guys awesome. do. You can't do it without the Inventor software, the HSR. Yeah. Now I hear that you're actually taking the software to a whole nother level. Not only CNC machines, mills, lathes, water jet, all these different things will be like on one platform. We want all of that just to come from one place. And it doesn't have to be in 10 or 12 different pieces of software. Yeah. And now you're stepping into 3D printers. Just last year, we designed and engineered our own 3D printer. We're going to distribute the plans so other people can build the same machine or they can improve upon the machine. I think there's probably a day that comes where like kids just all around, like you just have like little 3D printers and they can just grab stuff off the internet and print whatever they oh, want. Yeah. It gets them excited about making things again. Exactly. So this must be the 3D printer. Yeah, so it, it's a machine. It uh, prints a relatively small, but really high resolution, high precision. It prints at tens of microns. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow, so, that's like really... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you appreciate that. Yeah, exactly. Here, so let me, let me show you what we've been doing. So this is the critical thing, you know. A lot of the other stuff is decoration. Mm -hmm. What really makes this work is that this is a precision part. So we're talking about making like this piece, this piece, this piece. Yep. Okay. We just made a couple fixtures, and these fixtures are gonna go into my horizontal mill, and it's gonna help us run these parts for Autodesk nonstop. So I designed this fixture right here for the first operation. So the first fixture, these pockets I made with T-slots to cut out the corners are perfect for this part. So each one slides in. Then we take this tiny little clamp. It's a Mighty Bite pit bull clamp. And I pop this guy right in on the inside. And we've calculated it perfect so it digs into this edge right here. Because it's plastic, I can actually dig into it and then release it a little bit and I do one for all 15 pockets. The second op is a little different and it's a little trick. So what we have here is we have another clamp. This guy actually drops down and as the bolt goes straight down, it spreads, locking one part here, one part here. And as soon as the first operation is done, everything's gonna rotate and this will start machining right here, finishing the parts and then I'll be unloading the first operation. So this is the second operation. It's gonna rotate, and then we'll just keep doing the same thing over and over, and then we'll just come back after the parts are all done. What a beautiful morning. We are rolling into Eliva, Wisconsin. We're here to check out an awesome school called Eliva Strum. All right, guys, guess what I got for you? The future of American manufacturing. At least it's a piece of the future. I was talking to Carl Bass, who is the CEO of the multi-billion dollar company Autodesk, and we thought that it would be awesome to give you this MakerBot to take you also into the world of 3D printing. So with a MakerBot, you can actually draw up a solid model, and then you can send it to the MakerBot and print the part in one day. That's awesome. We, I mean, we appreciate your help, and this just takes us one step further and expands our capabilities, and this is where it's headed, and this is where we want to go. You guys are excited? Yeah. yeah. Boom! Ooh. <laughs> and these students are amazing, too. I mean, they can do anything. You just got to provide the opportunity. You put them in front of these machines, 3D printers, CNC machines, CAD CAM software. I mean, they pick that stuff up so fast. They're, they grew up with the computers. These kids know how to do this. You give kids hope. You give them opportunity and they'll go after it. Eliva Strum right here in Wisconsin in the great United States of America. Boom! A lot of times when you run parts, you have one part, you go through all the tool changes. So the more parts that you can run at once, you're saving all that time from going and grabbing those tools. In the same setup, you have the second part that assembles to the bigger one. And that gets run over here. You got four of these, and they flip over into the special cut soft jaws right here. 16 parts, two different jobs coming out at the same time, complete, so we can make sure everything fits, form and function is perfect.
here we go, Tyson. Pier 9, Autodesk. Now what goes on here, first of all, is building software that helps make stuff. And so we built this so that we could test all of our software. And I think it's great to return people back to the machine shop and have people get hands on and get them dirty and have them make stuff. I love it. So I'm sure you know this machine. Oh yeah, it's a water jet. Yeah, 50,000 PSI approximately. Mm -hmm. Does your software program the water jet also? Yeah, absolutely. A couple of years ago, we made the decision to give away our software to every school, faculty member, and student in the world. That's something that we could give back in training the next generation of designers and engineers and machinists. That's amazing. Let's move on and look at a couple of the other machines. Looks like we caught Daniel uh, working on his robot. Yeah. Doing robots? Yeah, you know it. So you designed this yourself? Yep, so I used Inventor to, uh, to design the robot as well as to uh, machine it out. And that's kind of the point of Pure 9. They're trying to push the boundaries of what's possible. And then, you know, Daniel does some amazing stuff on our Instructables website. Yeah. Part of our mission is to make sure we spread the word yeah. so we can pass it on to more people. Hey, by the way, Titan, that robot arm I showed you is right around the corner. Let's check it out. So, as I was mentioning earlier, all machined on the Haas, right? And this is basically two rectangular extrusions flipped around on all different sides. So do you pay Autodesk to let you come here and like play? I just say thanks, Carl, for building this shop. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. So this is the 3D print shop. These printers can print out of multiple materials. So this one I find really interesting in that it's two materials. So yeah, it's like really soft and, and that really one, hard. Yeah, there's lots of new materials. So people are printing in plastics, yeah. people are printing in metals. Yeah. And they've even started to 3D print organs. There's been a 3D printed bladder, which people have grown in, has been implanted. I mean, this is a huge breakthrough in medicine that's coming about. And so remember in the shop, I was telling you about this new technology we have in which you describe what you want the computer to do and it creates and the parts the for you. And the software designed its own Yeah, the part. software designs it and I, and, and I showed it to you. So here is a 3D metal print of that heat exchanger. Wow. I actually could CNC machine this. Oh, really? No. <laughs> he was gonna, he was gonna, he was gonna call me out on that one. That's amazing. Now, the part that I think is gonna get really interesting in the next few years is this combination of doing CNC machining mm -hmm. and doing additive Three. manufacturing, in which they have interchangeable heads. Building it up, and then the mill comes down and machines right. it. You'll be able to get kind of the shape complexity from 3D printing, mm -hmm. but you'll get that surface finish mm -hmm. and precision that comes with CNC machining. So let me introduce you to Shalom. He's busy assembling the parts. I hear you are the man. Well, I got the parts right here. So Making it happen. Right How did it look? Yeah. Looks great, actually. Just uh, putting them together to test that we've got a great fit. Must have had some great designers and assemblers and... I'll say, whoever designed and built this knew what they were doing. We're good to go here. That's awesome. Yeah, man. Yeah. I'll just uh, throw them together right here. Everything meets really perfectly as required. It makes a perfect fit. So it fits, huh? Oh, no, man, this sucks. The parts don't fit. They, I just watched it. I just <laughs> I just watched it. It looks like perfection to me. No, man, it's totally that. perfect. Love it. All the parts fit 